Welcome to Electron Lecture Online and now we're going to take a look at the second of the four of Maxwell's equations in differential form. There it is. It's also known as Gauss's law for magnetism. And so we're going to take a look at a magnetic field and, and, and uh, see how we can use the integral form to figure out what's going on versus the differential form. And actually in this particular case the differential form is easier to work with than the integral form. We'll see in just a moment why. Or at least it's easier to understand why it works. So Gauss's law says that if you have some place where there's a magnetic field, and here we have a magnet with a north pole and a south pole, and magnetic field lines all, always are directed from the north to the south like this. And so let's say we draw a Gaussian surface, and in that Gaussian surface we can see that there's some magnetic field lines going into the surface, coming out of the surface. And so what Gauss's law says is that if we integrate the strength of the magnetic field and the direction of the magnetic field multiplied times the area. Basically, it's a surface integral of all the surfaces of this cube, for example, calculating the strength of the magnetic field everywhere along each of the surfaces times the area of that. And if we add all that up, we should get equal to zero. That's kind of hard to understand why that would be zero. Well, one of the ways in which they try to explain this is, well, there's no source of magnetic field lines inside the cube. Uh, for example, if we take this magnet, and I'll draw a little smaller like this, so let's say we have a north pole and a south pole like this, and we draw a Gaussian surface around it, now you have what we would call a source of magnetic field lines, but what happens is that all the field lines will start from the north, go down to the south like this, north to south like this, and I'm just drawing one side of it, north to south like this. You can see that because it is source, you have some lines coming out of the surface and then coming back into the surface and what what we can then conclude and then let me draw the other side as well there we go what we can then conclude is that if we do this over the entire surface when i say do this meaning take the surface integral of the strength of the b field the magnetic field times the surface then we have an equal amount of field lines going out of the surface as going into the surface and they end up canceling each other out and so therefore again uh, since all field lines end up returning back to the source, when we do a Gaussian surface integral, we end up with a zero result. And so therefore, it was concluded that there was no single north pole or single south pole in the universe that could cause a net excess of field lines going out versus field lines coming back in. So in magnetic fields, you always have the same number of field lines going out of the source as coming back in to the source on the other side. But if we take a look at the differential form of Gauss's law for magnetism, it seems to make a lot more sense, and here's the reason why. Again, what we can do here is figure out how much flux is going into the cube and how much flux is coming out of the cube. And remember, flux is equal to the strength of magnetic field times the surface area. So that indicates how much flux is going into the cube and how much flux is going out of the cube. And what Gauss's law says is that the divergence of the magnetic field is equal to the amount of flux coming out of the cube minus the amount of flux coming in the cube divided by the volume of the cube. But here, by simply looking at the drawing, you realize that in this case we have two field lines going in, two field lines coming out, the same amount of flux is going into the cube as coming out of the cube. That means that the difference between those two is equal to zero, and therefore we conclude that if we do the divergence of the magnetic field, we always get zero because the same amount of flux is leaving the cube as entering the cube and therefore there's no net flux uh, left in the cube so to speak. It's not like there's more going in as there's coming out. And that is what Maxwell was indicating with this particular equation. He says, well, if we draw a Gaussian surface, we have the same amount of flux going in as out, so therefore we know that the versions of the magnetic field always have to be equal to zero. And so we now see the similarity between these two equations. So it's a pretty nice way of indicating that magnetic fields don't have point sources, don't have point sinks, and the same amount of field will always go through a surface as will come out of the surface, and therefore the divergence is zero.